So what is derailment? It occurs when a manager who's expected to go higher plateaus, is fired, or is demoted, um, and doesn't achieve the expected level of achievement. So these are talented people we're talking about. We're not talking about people that derail that didn't have the, the capabilities. We're talking about people that derail who were believed to be senior management potential. Okay, so that's sort of the that's sort of the group we're talking about here. Why is it important to examine it? Well, the first thing I already said, which is there's so much talk about focusing on your strengths, but there's very little talk about what is that iceberg or your Achilles heel that could stop you and impede your progress. Secondly, the research I found shows that it carries a price tag of between um, 5x to 20x the price of the executive salary in direct and indirect costs. That's the cost of derailment to the organization. So it makes sense to try to you know, help executives and managers not derail because you put so much effort into their development, so much time and money into their development. Third, if, you, if we look at derailment, you can flip those propensities on their head and it helps us understand how we should be developing people. And lastly, just not enough people are going through derailment school. There are a lot of instruments you can use now to understand these propensities, and I'll share them with you. And I ask people that run these, Hay Group, Corn Ferry, Leadership Assessments, Center for Creative Leadership, I asked all these, these folks, how many people take your derailment tool? And they said, not very many people. I said, what do they take? Oh, they take our competency tests. I said, well, why don't they take the derailment? Oh, it's hard. It's awkward conversations. People kind of don't like to face it. So I, I feel a kind of a real call to action to say, what, you know, by understanding this stuff, we can manage around them. So take these tests. Because the truth is that the folks that are taking the tests are usually senior executives, but the people that derail the most are frontline managers. So why wouldn't you give them training so they can understand their derailment propensities when they're malleable? 